What's up everyone, Chris with Dice DJ here, and uh, we're gonna do a subscriber submitted strategy today. All right, uh, so the strategy is from Flyer Jack, it's called the Shaggy Bevo Two Hitter. All right, and um, Flyer Jack actually played this live in the DJ and Craps Madness tournament. Um, if you didn't catch that series, uh, there's a ton of videos on it, and uh, we just had the finale the other day, uh, so go check those videos out. But in that tournament, uh, Flyer Jack played with me live, and he played this strategy. Uh, it didn't work out for him, but um, I think it's an interesting strategy. It's kind of a twist on a triple lux, all right? So uh, I'm going to explain out the strategy, how it works. I'm going to do like five shooters or so, and uh, we'll see if we can make some profit on this strategy, all right? Let's hop over to the table. I'll explain the strategy, and we'll hop into the roll. So we're over at the table now. All right, um, I do have my iPad here so I can see um, what is the whole premise behind the strategy and stuff because it is a little complicated. I will list out the details behind the strategy in the description down below. All right, so if you're interested, you can kind of screenshot uh, the description. It will be in the description. All right. Like I said, it's a modified triple lux. All right, so um, basically. You're betting three numbers, hugging the point is the starting thing. So you're off on the come out, you're waiting for a point to be established. So let's say the eight is the point, all right? So we're looking to bet the inside numbers, hugging the point. So in this case, eight's the point, right? So we're gonna bet the five, six, and nine, all right? So um, the five and nine would be placed for $30. $30, right? And then the six to make it proper will be placed for 36. All right. At this point, you're looking for um, a couple hits. Okay. So either one of these numbers that would hit would be paid $42. All right. So I'm going to pay that out so you can see it. So if the $30 nine hits or the $30 five, you get 42. If the $36 six hits, you'd get paid. $42. Alright, so you're gonna press each number up two units with this winning. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to change this for a green or change the green for reds. Alright, and we're pressing up two units. So we're pressing two here, two here, two here. Alright, um, so this would go to 40. Okay, this would go to 40. And then the six would go to 48. All right, so you can see what we have left over here. So this is a 36 now, right? So we're dropping the $12 and we're going up to 48 and you have $10 in change. Okay, so you're collecting this. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it off to the side. I don't wanna mess up the rack because I have it set up already. All right. If one of these numbers hits, so if the $40 five or nine hits or the $48 six, you're winning $56. All right, so you're at 56 here. So what you're gonna do now at this point, you got your two hits, all right? You're taking your bets down, hence the Shaggy Bevo two hitter, all right? You're looking for that second hit. All right, so now we're gonna come to 96 inside. All right, so I'm gonna take these bets down here. So we're gonna go 96 inside. So I have $100 here, all right? I'm gonna put all this off to the side. All right, and uh, we'll go to 96 inside. Sorry, 96 across, not 96 inside. I was confused myself there. I was looking at the math and I was like, 96 inside does not work. You're going 96 across. All right, so it's, um, so you're going 15, 15, 18, 18, 15, 15. All right, here, 
When you do this, you're technically up a couple bucks. Obviously this hundred would go back to the bank here since I would have taken money out, but you'd be up money, right? So let's count this out. So you have um, 25, there's 50, 75, 90, $94. So you're, you're down $2 right now. You're not up money, you're down $2, okay? Um, then this is kind of where it's up to your interpretation of sorts. All right. So, uh, I'm going to switch to the next screen here where, uh, the different presses and stuff come into play. All right. So at this point, right, let's say the eight hits, it's going to win you 21. You're going to drop $3, go up to 42. All right. At 42, you're going to collect and then you're going to press and collect, press and collect. All right. So I'm not going to show all that out. Hopefully we can get the, the rollout going where I can show it via video, but basically it's a press and collect at this point. So the first hit on the six or the eight is um, a power press. So you're going to drop $3 and press up to 42 and then you're collecting. And then the next one you're pressing, the next one you're collecting, the next one you're pressing, the next one you're collecting. All right. Press and collect. All right. On the five and the nine, all right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna win 21 on this 15, okay? You're gonna press it up, full press, to $36. Now, $36 is not an even bet on the five or nine, however, it does pay 50, so just keep that in mind. Um, it pays 50, trust me on that. If you wanna do the math, you can, but it pays 50. So, uh, I think it's 50 and like some change actually, but the casino rounds down, so it'll pay 50, okay? At the $50 level, you're collecting when you hit that 50 and then you're pressing and collecting and pressing and collecting, all right? So that's how that works. And then uh, for the four and 10, uh, these would be buy bets, all right, um, when you get up to a higher level. So at the $15 level, you're winning $27, okay? And uh, you're gonna press to, um, you're gonna take them to $25 buy bets. I am not really gonna worry about the VIG here, um, but if you wanna see it, I'll separate out the VIG. You're taking it to 25, you're collecting 50, then you're pressing both the four and the 10 to 50 on the next one. You're collecting, you're pressing, you're collecting. All right, so basically it's a, it's a modified triple lux with a press and collect added to it. All right, so uh, I'm gonna clean this up here and uh, I have a bankroll counted out of uh, six hundred dollars. Uh, the reason I have six hundred is because the most we'll have at risk for a shooter is a hundred and two dollars. So I could have less, but um, it makes it easier for me if I just have six hundred. All right, so we're gonna do five shooters. All right, um, I'm gonna roll a dice here because I do want to roll and set for one of the shooters. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll a die here and uh, number five. So the last shooter, fifth shooter, will be me. I will actually shoot. The other four will do random rolling. All right, so. Uh, let's hop into this live roll here. All right, so uh, like I said, this strategy can be a little complicated, so it will be linked down in the description. Uh, you can check it out. I have it up on my iPad right now so I can read it. So if I'm pausing weirdly or my hand is off the camera, it's because I am looking at the strategy itself. Um, it's not my strategy again. It's Flyer Jack strategy, one of my subscribers. So uh, let's roll it out. All right, so... Um, like I said, I'm shooting fifth, all right? What I'm gonna do is uh, the profits I will put in this rack for each shooter, all right? And then um, I will leave the bankroll as is, how I normally do it with bankroll and then moving the money over to the uh, second rack here, all right? So uh, we're off on the come out looking for a point. So coming out, midnight, doesn't matter. Four, three, seven, doesn't matter. And uh, one, two, three, craps. Ace, dude, shocker, doesn't matter. Uh, aces, wow, all right. We should be betting the horn, I guess. All right, hard six. All right, that works for us. So, hard six, all right. Now, we are going to hug the point, all right, with the inside number. So, five, eight, and nine. We're not betting the point. So, we're five, eight, and nine for the first couple. All right. So again, it's uh, $30 on the five and nine and then $36 
on the um, eight. All right, so I'm gonna rack four here. We have 36, 30, and 30, all right? Now we're looking for a hit on one of those numbers. And we got a five, four, nine. That's a center field nine, all right? And in case anyone is wondering, uh, this is $96. So that's why I have the 600, because if like the five is the point or something, you would have $102 at risk. So this is $96 at risk, all right? So we have a five, four, nine, all right? 30 is gonna pay 42, all right? So there's 42 there. And now we're gonna press all of our bets up two units, all right? So again, I'm gonna change out that green here for a red, all right? And we're gonna go two units here, two units here. So we're taking a five and nine to 40. All right, and then we're gonna add $12 here to take this to 48, all right? $10, we're racking at $10, all right? Here we go, dice are out. And we have a 6-2, easy eight, all right? So this uh, 48 is gonna win 56. So pay out 56, all right? And now we're gonna take our bets down to 96 across. All right, so to make my life easier, what I'm gonna do here is instead of just separating these bets out, I'm gonna rack all of this and I will show you it out. But $100 here, we'll set aside for change, all right? We're gonna go 96 across. And now we're including the point, all right? So this 100, right, I 96 and I gave the four change. All right, so now let's see where we are at, all right? So 25, that's 75, that's 80, 90, right? 95, 98. So $98 we're putting in our rack, we have 96 across. So we are out of the roll for this shooter. All right, we are in, we're profiting $2 right now. All right, so now this is where we're gonna start doing the press and collect. All right, so here we go, dice are out. And we have a 538. All right, so $18 eight's gonna pay 21. Uh, I'm gonna get myself some more uh, chips here. All right, so 18 is gonna pay 21. All right, so with 18 and 21, you have $39. We're gonna drop $3 from our rack and go to 42, all right? So I will show it out here and then going forward, um, I'm just gonna put it to 42 um, and I will, but I will show it out here. So that's 25, 35, right? 40, 42, all right? So the dealer at the casino would clean this up for you and this is all going back to their bank here. All right, so we got a $42 eight now. All right, here we go, dice are out. And we have a 617. All right, so we lose all these. Pop that behind so we don't fall them over, knock them over, all right? And uh, shoot number two here. Uh, let me just grab some chips here so I can keep track. So that was shoot number one, all right? This is shooting number two. And uh, again, random rolling, not doing anything. Uh, setting, I will set on the fifth roll since I rolled the die and got the fifth shooter. All right, so we have um, the four, all right? So we're placing three numbers, hugging the point. So that is the five, six, and eight, all right? So. $30 on the five and $36 on the six and eight. This is where uh, the 102 comes into play, all right? That's why I gave myself a little bit extra of a bankroll, okay? So we have $102 at risk here, all right? And uh, looking to hit those numbers, here we go. And we have a 426, the lumber, all right? So um, the $36, six pay and 42, all right? I'm gonna pay it out in reds again because it's gonna be easier. That's 40 and 42, all right? So we're pressing this up, two units, two units, and two units here, all right? 
what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to make some change here for the singles. So this five is there, all right? And we're going up two here and we are racking this $8. All right, so we have a $48 six, $48 eight, and a $40 five. Here we go, dice are out. And we got a six three center field nine. Doesn't matter for us on this one. And we have a 314. All right, so puck is off because that was the point hit. All right, we're off on the come out, so we're just leaving our bets where they are. We have one hit, we're looking for that second hit still, but our bets are off. Here we go, dice are out. And we have a 6410. All right, so um, this is actually interesting since I never, um, we never had this situation come up actually. When I was doing it. So, uh, Flyer Jack, let me know in the comments of this video. Would you move the five to the nine? I assume you would since you're hugging the point. All right. That's the whole thing. We're hugging the point here. So, I'm going to move the five to the nine. Um, if I, it is an error, uh, please let me know and I will correct it uh, in the comments and uh, things like that. But uh, here we go. Dice are out. We're looking for that second hit. And we've got a six, three, eight. All right, so it wouldn't have really mattered too much in the end here. All right, so 638, it's going to pay 56. All right, and now we're coming 96 across. So take all of our bets down. And that's why I said it wouldn't have really mattered since we got that second hit there pretty quickly. All right, uh, here's 100 bucks. I will rack the rest here. There's 100, and we're going 96 across. And four change to the rack. All right, here we go. Dice are out. And we have a hard six. All right, so that's going to pay 21. All right. Need some more chips here. It's gonna pay 21, all right? We're gonna drop $3 and take it to 42. So there's $42 here. I showed it out the first time. You're gonna to have to trust me on it because I don't wanna show it out again. All right, 42, here we go. And we have a 6410, all right, 6410. So this is gonna pay 27. All right, it's gonna pay 27. So on the four and the 10, all right, we're taking, also that's a point hit, so I'm gonna turn the puck off for now, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the 10 to a buy and the four to a buy, all right? So if you look at it, right, we have, we won 27, we have $30 here, all right? So that's $57. We're gonna take these to $25 buy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down, obtain that to a buy, right? Take the four, 25 here, right? The dealer's gonna clean that up to that. Rack this in the bank, and this is going to our bankroll, all right? Now, we're off on the come out, so our bets are off. Here we go, dice are out. And we have a 617, all right? That's why we're off on the come out. And we got a 639, all right? So nine will be the new point. We're set up, our bets are working. Here we go, dice are out. And we have a 415, five fever, all right? So 15 is gonna win 21, all right? We're gonna press, full press this to 36. Now, like I said, you may be asking, that's not a proper bet. Well, technically it's not. However, it does pay 50, all right? So it makes my math life easy. It's the strategy that uh, Flyer Jack sent me, all right? So we're pressing that to 36, it will pay 50. All right, here we go, dice are out. And we have a 617. All right, so uh, we did get some of our numbers pressed there. We weren't able to collect on those numbers there. And um, so let's see what happens here. Let's do, uh, I think I said I was doing five shooters, so we'll keep it going. Um, I just don't want the video to be too long for everyone. All right, so we, this is uh, shooter number three here, right? So. Shoot number three, here we go. Coming out, looking for a point. 
And we have a 6-2 easy 8. That'll be our point. All right. Again, we're hugging the point. So that's the 5, 6, and 9. 30, 30, 36. There we go. Dice are out. And we have a 5, 1, 6. All right. So the 36 is going to pay 42. All right. I'm going to pay in reds again. So it's 25, 40, 42. All right. Pressing this up two units to 40. Pressing this up two units to 40. And we're taking this two units to 48. All right. And we are racking $10. Here we go. Dice are out. And we have a 3, 2, 5. 5 fever. So 40 is going to pay 56. All right. And now we're coming down to 96 across. All right. So here's 100 here. I'm going to rack the rest of this. Yes, I know my rack is a mess. Um, I'm just going to ignore it for now. And uh, we get four change off that hundred because we have 96 across and four change. All right, so put that in the rack there. Uh, I'm gonna need some more whites. And what I will do quickly here is change out some of these whites from the rack just to clean it up a bit. All right, so that's $25. I'm gonna put a green chip in there. All right. All right, here we go. Dice are out. And we have a three, two, five. All right. So it's going to pay 21. All right. We're full pressing this to $36. All right. So there's 25 there. All right. 36. And here we go. Dice are out. And we have a five, three, eight. All right. So uh, the eight, that was our point. So we're going to get paid here. And then again, we're off on the come out. All right, so it's gonna pay 21 as well. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop $3 to take this to 42, all right? Um, so $3 here, I'm gonna drop a five because I don't have $3. All right, so $3, two back to our rack. This is going to the bank and we're taking this to $42. So that's 42, all right? And we're off and uh, looking for a new point. And we have right back on that eight. That's a five, three, easy eight. All right, right back on it. Here we go, dice are out. And we have a six, four, 10. All right, so that's gonna pay 27, right? We're gonna take our four and 10 up to buy bets. So four, we need to go up to 25 and the 10 we're going up to 25. So that's 25 there, all right? And uh, this $7 we're racking. Here we go. Dice are out. And we have midnight. Doesn't matter for either or for this strategy here. And we have a three craps. It was a leaner. It would be three craps. Does not matter. Midnight again. Three horn numbers in a row. And we have a hard four. All right. So. You know, I do not really deal with Vigs down in the D-Gen dungeon. However, I know people are going to get on me for the Vig. So, 25 is going to pay 50, all right? Taking $2 out of our profit to pay said Vig, okay? $2 Vig on the $50 win, all right? Now, um, we're going to collect this 50, all right? We're collecting that. And um, we're good there. Here we go. And we had a hard six, back to back hard ways there. All right, so that's paying 21, okay? We're dropping $3 here and we're going to 42. So there's a quarter. All 
42, and this is going to the bank. All right, so we have almost all of our numbers pressed up here. Let's see if we get some hits. And we have a 5-3, easy eight. All right, so that's another point hit for this shooter. All right, so this is the first time we're at the $42 level. All right, so that's gonna pay effectively 50 for one. So it pays 49, we're gonna do 50 for one. All right, and that's our first hit there. So we are going to rack this 50. All right, our bets are off. Here we go, dice are out. And we have a 628 right back on that eight. All right. So uh, now we're working. All right. Here we go. Dice are out. And we have a 314. All right. So again, $25 four is going to pay 50 for a VIG. So um, let me get some change here. So $5, five ones. All right. $2 VIG. I will put the other three back in my rack. Uh, $2 VIG there, and we're pressing these both up to $50 effectively, I believe. Uh, 25 full press, 4 and 10 to 50. Yep, all right, so these are going to 50, all right. Here we go, dice are out. And we have a midnight, doesn't matter. And we have a hard four. Outside numbers are actually perfect here, all right. So uh, this is gonna pay 100. For a four dollar vig, all right. Fifty is going to pay a hundred for a four dollar vig. So uh, I'm going to drop five. One change there, and we're racking this. All right, we're collecting here. All right, since we just pressed it, now we're collecting. All right, here we go. And we have a six five yo. Doesn't matter. Dice rolled, but it was a six five yo. And we have a five two seven seven out. All right, so that was a pretty good example there of uh, how it works. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm, I'm gonna stop here. Um, I don't wanna make the video super long. I think it's already gonna be kinda long at this point. Um, so I don't wanna make it terribly long, all right? Here's what I do wanna say though. These rolls, all three rolls, we were able to regress down inside. If you have that 0.7, you're gonna get hit for uh, 92 nine or $96 or hundred and two dollars. You're gonna get hit for that. All right, so please keep that in mind All right, if you don't get those two hits, you're gonna get hit for ninety two dollars ninety six dollars or hundred and two dollars All right, I didn't have an example of it uh, Because the dice were, were nice to me as Brian from Hawaii crap shooter says all right, but uh, that was three shooters again I don't want to make the video too long here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count this up and we'll see how it works um that one worked out pretty well, uh, especially on that last shooter there. Uh, we were able to get quite a few hits and get our numbers all pressed up. Once you go to uh, 96 across, all right, you're, you're out of the roll. So you're not really risking money at that point. Um, now, oh, I shortchanged all these stacks a dollar. That's what happens when I try to talk and count at the same time all right uh, so now you are risking money right because it is your money you're risking it but your initial investment of either the 96 or the 102 is covered at that point all right so keep that in mind uh, we had a $600 bankroll to start all right so 100 2 3 4 5 that would be 6 all right that's 7 75, uh, 95, 7.99. So 299 dollar profit. Uh, or sorry, we had 600 to start. Seven, 7.99, 199 dollar profit. All right, for this strategy. Again, this is the Shaggy uh, Two Bevo hitter from Flyer Jack. All right, I will link how to play this in the description down below. All right, um, it worked out nicely today. Again, please do keep in mind. The short roll, that 0.7, the 0.1 hit seven, you are gonna get hit for about a hundred bucks. All right, so do keep that in mind. It didn't happen here for me, but keep it in mind. All right, also, um, I wanna thank Flyer Jack for coming live on my uh, Crash Madness tournament, and also thank him for submitting this strategy to me. And uh, it's cool, I think it's a lot of fun. 
really, really good on those monster rolls. You can you can rack up a profit pretty quickly. Um, that third shooter there, not a monster roll, but it was a good roll. I guess by classifications, it might have been a monster roll, but there was a lot of horn numbers involved. So, um, you know, we didn't hit all of our numbers every time, but on a monster roll, you could really, really profit with this. Like I said, it's a modified triple lux. All right. So um, if you are a subscriber or anybody who's watching this video and you have a strategy you want me to roll out, it might be your own strategy. It might be a strategy that a lot of people have rolled out, whatever it is. Uh, drop it in the comments, shoot me an email at dicedgen at gmail.com. I'll put it in the description down below. Uh, shoot me an email with the strategy you want me to see me roll out. All right, I love rolling out uh, strategies that you guys wanna see. All right, try to bring content that you guys want. Uh, so if you have a strategy you want me to roll out, again, drop it in the comments um, or shoot me an email, dicedgen at gmail.com. All right, uh, again, thank you Flyer Jack. This is the Shaggy 2 Bevo hitter and it will be in the description down below. Worked well today. Uh, again, it's gambling, all right? So um, may work one day, may not work the other day, but just wanted to show you the strategy. Uh, he, uh, Flyer Jack asked me to show it to you guys, um, and here it is, all right? So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, drop a like on the video. Again, comment down below. What other strategies you wanna see me roll out? And uh, if you aren't subscribed already, please do subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.